Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another video of the Gariel with a viewing gallery underneath the water, which is pretty cool, I have to say. We started streaming live on YouTube. Thank you guys so much who were there, and afterwards, we continued on Twitch. Unfortunately, Steam was down for a bit, but we had a lot of fun just walking around in the career mode park in first person mode if you don't know how to do that you just rename a staff member to Tadjit Cam. I will put that in the comments so you know how to write that if you don't know and you can just walk around in first person you cannot like interact with animals or anything like that if you expect that it's just walking around but it's a lot of fun so yeah, it was really cool. Thank you guys so much for being there. And we also hit 3000 followers on Twitch. You guys are really amazing. And of course on YouTube, all you subscribers, it's, it's going nuts. And I really, really am thankful for all your feedback, all your support. You guys are really amazing. And I'm really happy you like my, I'm going to call them testing builds. I mean, this is really just a testing park to see what we can do, how we can create some really nice habitats and especially this one I want to call a testing one even though I really like how it turned out there are a lot of things I would do different if this would be like a new park uh, during the launch mode because there are just a lot of things that I'm like mm, yeah okay well well it works it definitely works with the underwater part and stuff but I really the next time would want to create a bigger pathway obviously also the outside area i'm not really happy with but the main reason for that is because the gariel the male one is like very big and you can see with the heat maps exactly where they are able to walk and as soon as you put down some rocks there's a radius around the rock that avoids the gariel to be able to walk there meaning i was not really able to put down a lot of things on the outside so i would definitely do that differently when we get our hands on the launch version of the game so we can have more play room to play around with also now that i think of it like we're using a lot of just fencing right now and i know we also have the no fence they call it in the game and the no fence is basically like a invisible fence you can put down if you have like a natural barrier so for example you have uh, mandrills or the lemurs that are not able to swim there are a lot of animals that really uh, don't like to swim so you can use that like a water area so like a river for example as a natural barrier and just create your own fencing for example with piece by piece building and for the gharial it would be very easy to just have a layer of rocks for example as the backside of the area uh, of the fence so i definitely if i would do it again i would definitely use some kind of rocky barrier instead of the just the, the concrete fence we are using right now but the water area was really a lot of fun to play around with i really enjoyed doing that and I'm happy with how easy it was. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it would have been way harder, even though, as I said, I really would want to make the path like a bit more uh, big so you can have like more people walking around and standing around. But it definitely works with like the lower path and the higher path. So I definitely think this is a very good practice to see like how you can make this work and people were standing on top and on the lower level to watch the gharial swim so that was really fun they didn't however uh, were able to go through this small little gate we built so in the end we made it a bit bigger so like two size width and also the gharial was not able to walk over that little small line you can see on the floor he it just really completely stopped his path so i'm not sure if that would be something they should change it's like very small but in the end it's not really that big of a deal we just removed the line underneath and then he was able to walk from the outside to the inside and to have a little dive and it was really funny to see them swim i really do hope they will 
added the animals that they will, will also be able to really dive down. They're not doing that right now. And you can also tell by the heat map where you can see where the animals are able to move that it's only like the top level of the water. So it's not even like down in the water. I really do hope they will change that and that the animals will be able to really dive in a later stage because that will be really amazing to see them really swim and lay down on the bottom of the water or something like that. That will be really cool. So yeah, I'm just really curious about that. If that will be something that will change, I will definitely send that in as some feedback to Frontier because it doesn't in a way make sense to have like a deep water area if they're only floating at like the water level itself. So yeah, I'm really not sure about that. And um, over here we were just playing around with the fencing, the curved barriers. You have like so many different options, but in the end I was like, mm, not really happy how this is working out right now. So I didn't really use it and just made it straight again. Also, we use this glass barrier, not because it's needed, because your piece by piece building items are just fencing. Uh, but still, I just felt like, you know what, I just want to fill it with glass. I did the same thing with the mandrels because I was like, I'm not sure if they will be able to climb up to the walls I've built there. So I'm not really sure if it's really needed. I don't think so. I, I think it's more like my feeling like, yeah, better safe than sorry, because you can't can't really imagine that those piece by piece buildings really act as barriers itself but it does it does so i'm, I'm just being a bit dumb here <laughs> also uh i said that in my stream too like you should never do this if you really want to create a big zoo uh, after launch like have a big path and then on both sides like the viewing galleries with the windows because it's just gonna create a lot of bottlenecks and it doesn't make any sense so if we would create this during launch I would definitely do it a little bit differently and have just like more path going off of the big main street you have there well, it's not main street but you guys see what I mean <laughs> And uh, so yeah, because it's gonna create like a lot of bottlenecks issues and it's just really busy at some point and you don't really want to go that road. So yeah, it's, I am, the more I'm building with this, I really enjoy like doing the habitats itself, but like the outside and stuff is definitely not how I would want to do it in a later stage after launch. But it's a very good practice and hopefully it gives you guys a lot of inspiration to, to create your own zoos in a right now or in a later stage to, after launch. I'm really excited for that and I'm really excited to really put a lot of attention into my parks and it's it's going to be really amazing but as I said I feel more and more like this is this is a testing map and just to see what we can do with it and how it's going to look like the graphics I'm just really in love with the graphics of this game and especially like the Gariel is very beautiful I'm really happy that I chose that animal to play around with and to see how that would work also, I was surprised, I had no idea that the female gharial was way smaller and then we got like a baby gharial and that is just like the most adorable thing ever. It's so small, like you can't even imagine. Well, you, everyone has seen it probably in one of the trailers they released, but oh boy, they're so freaking cute. They're so adorably small. And you can tell in a later stage that when we are putting down a lot of rocks and a lot of plants. As I said, the rocks really influence the path they have to walk on or to swim on. So you really have to be careful with the rocks, but uh, you don't really have to worry about the plants in that way of like ruining their path uh, where they can walk or swim. But it does really, uh, the gharial doesn't really want that many plants or trees in their habitat. So I know it's not, and you can tell when I start putting them down and I have the gharial's needs open. So you can see that it's turning red at some point. And I was like, well, you know what? Screw it. I just really want to have this many plants in here and I'm just going to see how it will go. But in the end, if you just make sure that all his other uh, needs are fulfilled, then it doesn't matter if it's like super in red because then the average of his welfare, I think it is, is like 84 or 85% and it's still in green so it doesn't affect him and it doesn't 
make sure that you will have a lot of protesters because I really was afraid to have a lot of protesters in my park just because of like yeah yeah the habitat is not suitable for him because you put down so many rocks and plants so I really was happy that that wasn't the case because I really want to play this mode without having to worry too much about that I put down too many things in the habitat and I also heard Rudy Van Camel he told me that you are when you research the animals uh, at some stage then they will be happier with their habitat or like they need less space or something like that i don't know exactly what it was but something with the research would make the habitat more approval or anything like that i have no idea to be honest um but yeah i think it's very interesting to see what the research will bring us what kind of other features it will give us for the animals so i'm really curious how that will work out i'm also just uh, just to to go back to the diving part of the animal i really am curious like if this is something that they only do in a beta and that that will be changed in a later stage i mean like if we really get animals like seals for example you really would expect them to go really deep and dive really deep instead of like swimming with their head above the water and the same goes for penguins and stuff who really like to swim too so yeah i i can't really imagine they would add a lot of animals in here without the ability to be able to swim so i'm really curious about that i i can't i honestly can't imagine that wouldn't be a thing in a later stage it would be pretty funny to see seals and stuff just swim with their head on the, above the water it's it's not going to be very realistic even though i can imagine like a, a gary would also swim with his head above the water it's like something you see on a lot of pictures with like their eyes and their snout just a little bit above the water so it makes sense in a way but yeah i still really hope they will be swimming and diving a lot because that will be the most amazing thing to see and i don't know if that was a coincidence but i did see some people at the viewing galleries underneath the water like jumping up so they would be like trying to see the gharial i don't know if that was really uh, intended or whatever I, I really have no idea but it was really funny to see and i really want to put down some more things in the water which is not included in this people video i will do that before i build record the live build because i just i'm not happy enough with the habitat so far i do am really enjoying how this is looking in general with the water viewing gallery and with just just the habitat like the inside is really cool with the outside i'm not really sure but i do feel i want to add some more rocks in the middle section because at some point during my live stream i did notice that one of the gharials were actually laying down on a rock somewhere on the right so yeah, I'm really interested to make some kind of island in the middle section so they can also sit on there. So I'm really curious about that. And I also noticed that I didn't put down any hay bedding and it doesn't really ask for it, I think. But maybe we can put down one or two more to just really make it nice for those gharials to lay down somewhere. So yeah, a lot of things I really want to add to this uh, habitat, but I do really hope you guys enjoy and get some inspiration out of this of how to create a viewing gallery because it's just really a lot of fun to test. We're going to continue our park with, I think, a tortoise. We also want to create some kind of lion's area. And if we have more space, we're also going to add some terrariums and stuff. I'm really excited to play around with that for a bit. And if you guys have any other suggestions, like not the biggest animals as in the elephants or giraffes, I don't think they really fit into this dome, like halfway outside, halfway inside. But maybe you guys have some ideas of other animals we could add to in this dome and have a small or a little bit bigger section. So do let me know in the comment section for what kind of animals you would like to see. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit.
So here we are. And as you can see, I just changed the fencing to some rocks. I really wanted to see how that would work. And especially with the Garyol, which doesn't really is able to climb over it. I am actually really happy with how this turned out. It turned out way better than with all the concrete fencing. So I'm really happy I tested this out. And as you can see, so over here you have only the no fence and as long as you have a natural barrier it's all good and you can see that if you don't know you can go to your heat maps and then go to the second one habitat and then traversable area so once you click the animal you have to click it it also says here select an animal to show so you can see it specifically for that animal is that animal able to walk around here? As you can see, there's no way for the gharial to go over these rocks at any point. And of course we have here the door for the staff. But other than that, it's all good. The gharial can move around really easily. And as I told you guys, like the habitat, it's not happy about the plants, but like it's all red, but it doesn't matter because the total welfare is 86 percent so you don't have to worry about any protesters or anything like that it does look way better already if we do this again at launch or something similar like this i would definitely do it a little bit different but for now for testing purpose i think this is really nice looking and i'm really satisfied with the time we had to build this garial habitat so now let me show you guys the inside because I changed a little bit too here and the Gary just came back for a swim and um, I put down some more rocks right over here and put down some bedding because the Gary is known for building nests and stuff so I thought you know what I think that's a nice spot and the Gary is able to use it too and this little baby ah so super cute so small and the uns, uh, underneath the water section over here, it looks really nice too. I just like to add a lot of green and rocks and stuff, and I think it looks perfect. And it will be super awesome to see them under, on the ground of the floor too for a bit. But yeah, the Garyol will be able to use everything. Let me just show you again real quick. It will be able to use everything over here. It will be able to use the logs. And the rocks over here will be able to use this. So yeah, I think overall this is very fun to build with. And of course we have the viewing gallery over here. I would probably change this if we do this at launch. It's a little bit messy, but you get the idea. I just really wanted to see how this would look. And I think it's really nice to have this path going down. And the people can also stand right over here to watch the gharial swim. The flowers may be a little bit too high, but then again, it's also fun that they have to like look through these plants for a bit. It looks really natural. I really like it. And uh, yeah, I think for the viewing gallery overall, I think this definitely works. It's exactly the right height for the people to look in the water area right over here and if they want to see the gharial on top they would stand over here i'm not sure why they're not here right now looking at the animals i'm a bit confused about that we did see them a lot looking down and inside the water during my live stream so i don't know what that is they might come back in a later stage but i think overall this is looking quite neat i do have to say i would like to replace these fencing too i'm not really happy with this corner section right over here and I would also maybe just add like a path going down like this side and then have a viewing platform over here and then go up here and then have like plants in these corner sections instead I think that would also look really nice to see just some planters like you see right over here uh, so yeah, these things are definitely something interesting to do when the game will launch and yeah, as I said, I really like the view of the Garyol's habitat, especially with the roof like so. You can see the shadows. I, I think it's really beautiful. I think it totally works out. 
So yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section what you guys think also from these improvements if you have been in my live streams. Do let me know in the comment section. And thank you guys again so much for your support. Big thank you to all my FaveFam members, Herman Harding and Paul Harrison. You guys are really amazing. And all the other smaller FaveFam members, you guys are really amazing too. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for all your subscriptions, your likes, your comments. You guys are all amazing. Thank you guys so much. And I really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah.